Hi, I'm Gypsy from Bipolar Peer Chat. Today's topic is going to be sleep hygiene or sleep habits. Sleep hygiene is a variation of different things you can do to ensure a restful night of sleep, a better quality of sleep. Obtaining sleep is huge not only for your physical health but for your mental health health as well. You know, and there are things that you can do to definitely improve your night of sleep. One of the things that you can do is, you know, definitely set up a sleep routine. And that's a little bit about what I'm going to talk about here today is setting up that sleep routine. Limit your naps to 20, 30 minutes a day. I'm hugely guilty, especially on a day I'm not feeling well or that I'm kind of down or depressed or whatever going in there and taking two, three hour naps. Yeah, let's not do this because it will affect how you sleep, you know, later tonight. Exercise 10 minutes before going to bed. I'm not talking about vigorous exercise and, you know, don't go in there power weight lifting if that's what you're into. You know, 10 minutes, do stretches, yoga, you know, low impact, um, mixed aerobics. It will wear you out a little bit, you know, kind of get you just in that right state of mind to, you know, lay down and sleep. Watch what you eat before bedtime. No, no fatty foods, no spicy foods. Definitely watch what you intake as far as your caffeine levels. You know, these are things that will definitely affect how well you sleep. Be consistent. Go to bed around the same time every night. Turn off TVs. Turn off your mobile. If you want to read, you know, set aside 20, 30 minutes before you want to be asleep and go in there at that time and lay down to read. And if that's where you read is in bed, because that's what I do. You know, if you read elsewhere, you know, set that time limit of I'm going to go in here at, say, 10.30 p.m. and read for half an hour and 11 o'clock p.m. rolls around, I'm in my bed. So be consistent in setting that bedtime up, because that actually does help a lot. I was surprised at how well that helps. Because it sets you into a routine to to be tired and sleepy at the same time every night. Make sure your bedroom's comfortable. Everybody's different, so make sure it's comfortable to you. You know, not too hot, not too cold. You know, kind of make it your zone. Get yourself a, an extra Philly soft blanket. Spend that extra money on buying a good pillow because it does help. Get an app for white noises. You know, everyone has smartphones now. I, I did say cut up your phone, but use your phone, turn your phone on silent, vibrate, do not disturb it, whatever it is, and use your app for white noises. I happen to use an app called um, Relax Meditation. I'm not throwing a plug in. It's just what I happen to use. I, I happen to like the Buddhist monks on there chanting. That's what works for me. What works for you might be, you know, thunderstorms, windstorms, heartbeat, whatever. Try a nap out. Most of them are free, so, you know, look to see what you can find. If you don't have a smartphone or not comfortable with apps, you can buy white sounds machines at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, places like those at a reasonable price. They do tend to be limited on their sounds, though. Um, you can also get white sound CDs. Um, if you use things like Spotify or Pandora, they have white noise channels. The white noises may or may not help you. It is something to try out. It definitely helps put me to sleep. It helps my husband go to sleep. So it, it's definitely worth trying out. I also watched a YouTube video. I think it was from the Navy of how to go to sleep in five minutes. So definitely check out one of their videos on that because it does work. My son testifies to that because I've seen him stand up against the wall and go to sleep. Um, but one of the things that I learned from there is a breathing technique called 478. And what it is, you breathe through your nose for four seconds. You hold your breath for seven seconds. And then you blow out slowly through your mouth for eight seconds. And you repeat the process and... Somewhere it triggers something in your brain to where it actually lulls you into a sleep within five minutes. So it's worth giving it a shot. It may or may not work for you. But that about wraps this up today. I hope some of these tips will help you. Um, just to throw this in there, another thing that you can try is 
smells. Smells and aromas are, are really big for us. Um, try lavender. Try chamomile teas. Try taking a bath using bath bombs that invoke sleep like lavender. Hot, nice, hot, relaxing shower before you go to bed. You know, set up that kind of routine. And I hope it works for you. Until next time, guys, peace out, big loves, and come join us on Facebook. Look for me there, Gypsy Willow Rose. Um, look for my group. Subscribe here, like us, share us, and till next time.